Alrighty, here we go. This is a Friday, which means it's episode 20. And it means I'm going to start doing a character core, or no, a character wheel. What do I mean by a character wheel? Well, I guess you're just going to have to find out at the end of this episode. But I figured, I told you before, I get bored easily, right? So I don't like doing the same thing professionally over and over and over and over and over again. I'm just, I'm not the guy who would make Friday at 13, 27 when I've made the first 26. I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to do something different. And so that's what we're doing here. This is a character corner with the twist. So check out that at the end of the episode. And But until then, let's go ahead and get into this. This is episode 20. You know where we are. You know where we're going. Three, two, one. I have a feeling this is going to be a breather episode. See, now it makes more sense. That, you know, now that we know they're not going to kill off uh, Sasuke. Wait a minute, I think I got it. It's Sasuke, right? Sasuke. Yes. There we go. I finally effing remember. Repetition. It's all about reps. Because I felt like we should have been getting some Monster of the Week type episodes early on. Especially if you're going to kill off Sasuke. But if you're not going to, now we can get the Monster of the Week episodes. They had a really big arc to start the series, which... Again, I wouldn't have paced that way, but you know, who am I, right? Uh, well, by the way, I love it. That looks like they did the milk carton thing. Somebody be missing. Some old man. I wonder if that's going to come back into it or if that's just a, a gag, right? But yeah, we're finally getting like a day in the life of type episode, maybe. Who knows? This could, for all I know, this could jump off a new arc, but most of my assumptions have been wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, with Gusto, huh? I see. I saw something about a new chapter. I didn't see anything else. Could be starting a new arc. Maybe they don't do breather episodes. They can make their series however they want to. I'm just saying, like, you know, I'm kind of a conventional guy. I like conventional formatting. Your novel is broken up book one, book two, book three, and each book has chapters, right? Like, that's kind of how I organize things. <laughs> Look at him in a good mood. Well, you're not still rivals. You were crying over his death. You can't be rivals now. <laughs> I guess you are. Immature ass. That's what I'm saying. I wonder how long it's been. <laughs> I guess they emotionally bonded. <laughs> Get off my ass. I love their Mount Rush work. Uh, they kind of emotionally bonded, so now it's just weird. Where is Sensei? Making us wait? Yeah, sure you did. Yeah. I like it when anime goes big head. There was a basketball game where you had really big heads. It was an arcade game. Exciting missions, huh? It's all about you. <laughs> it's all about you being excited, right? <laughs> yeah, it's all about the appearances. It's about keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> yeah. Just run up a tree again. Hmm. This is making me think I was wrong about the resurrection theory, though. I don't think there's much resurrection happening. If um, he's being petty like this. Then again, maybe he's playing the long game. Yep, this is how we train, by gardening. <laughs> At least he's motivated. Hey, those were all the good crops. Dumbass. Now you gotta pick them all up. Hey, thank you for tearing up all my parsnips. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. Dumbass. 
Well, not anymore. Did she just kick his ass? Is that, are we witnessing child abuse right here? Like The camera cut away because it's literally child abuse. Look at him. He's got a black eye. That is child abuse. I think somebody was telling me like that in Japanese culture, it's just different. What their conventions are as far as like what you're allowed to do and what we're allowed to do, we shouldn't be imposing our Western morality on, on Eastern culture. So I won't. But it's not great. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's literally going to die from this fall. Oh, he saved your ass. Look at him. Saved your ass. He can't handle it either. <laughs> ah, yes, this is trap field. Do not enter. Hey, that reminds me of that dog that was biting uh, Zabukake. The one that was on his shoulder. That was my favorite dog. Hey, man. Tell you what. I've walked a 100-pound dog, and, he, you know, I'm a big boy. Those things are strong, man. He was pulling me a little bit. If you're not paying attention, he can he can knock you on your ass. So it's a minefield, okay, from probably left over from World War II. Even though we didn't have World War II in this universe, did we? <laughs> That's right, blow him up. The dog is unscathed. He didn't step on any landmines. Yeah, <laughs> he is reckless. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, <laughs> Indy. Hey, she's finally serving a purpose. They need a team bonding exercise. They need a real opponent that will actually take this seriously. Yeah, because it's about your ego. Yeah, by the way, I agree with him. <laughs> the gauntlet has been thrown. That's right, chump. You better start working out. <laughs> can't handle it, man. You actually like him and you can't handle it. You actually like him and you can't handle it either. Or have you been infected with the... Wait, why'd they throw that mask just now? Okay. Okay, uh, they keep hinting that he's been taken over. It's not really him. But maybe not. It sounds like he kind of rationalized it. I don't know. Yeah, and you two are bickering like little toddlers. <laughs> what? What? Dumbass. You're not over the schoolgirl crush yet, huh? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, you cared about yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is a heavy load. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, that is a heavy load she's carrying. You disgust me. <laughs> hey man, blame the writers. I don't blame you. I blame the writers. You're just as bad as she is, man. Kick his ass. Yeah, he's out of here. Which means he won't have to see this abuse. Yep, that's right. <laughs> oh, that's that kid. The kid who can camouflage. Say, seems suspicious. Wait, it looks like it's all fours, though. Like, that looks like an animal. That doesn't look like a person. The legs I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, Looney Tunes. Or Scooby Doo. That's more like Scooby-Doo when they're going back and forth. 
Well, you just figured that out, huh? How about a rock that can walk? Is, does that exist? Gee, what a complete shock. That's actually the kid. Oh, that's why there's so many legs. Okay. He squatted up. Okay, gotcha. The what? Did she say preschool? The hell are you got? Go back to preschool. The hell are you talking about? I, I couldn't have possibly have read that right. Because goggles are cool, apparently. Like, I, anime characters sort of don't think so. Usopp sure thinks so. I guess it's, you got to do something with the, the head. The head's kind of boring if it's just hair, right, and face and whiskers. So you have to put goggles on to make it more visually interesting. <laughs> A-hole. Nope. The kids serve a purpose, though. As he does idol worship upwards, they're doing idol worship to him. So it's, it's, he's like a cat. He's both predator and prey at the same time. The dichotomy. Yep. <laughs> She's so pissed. <laughs> Finally, her character is getting interesting. Although I've always been interested with her uh, alternate personality, whatever that is, her conscience. Her version of the armadillo, you know. What, are you jealous? <laughs> yeah. No, I, that's a good point. She does want to kill him. So what would, why would you be jealous? Oh, I see. <laughs> There's a little bit too much tomfoolery. We should be focusing on our jobs. Kick his ass. That's right. Stomp him out. I don't, I don't approve of domestic violence. Dot, dot, dot. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Eye on the prize, a-hole. <laughs> yeah. See, this has always been interesting. The writers are trying to make her uninteresting and they're failing me because I'm so interested. <laughs> That's right. Go full evil. She's going full Palpatine. Dark side to the max. Yep, path of bodies, uh, the, the bruise, or was it the uh, bumps, the bumps on bumps. <laughs> That's right. You just got knocked the F out. <laughs> Keep talking shit. <laughs> She's like, uh, what was that character from uh, The Ring? She's like that chick. Keep talking shit. <laughs> That's right. You better run. You guys are getting no practice done. None whatsoever. So. So. What are they, cops? No, this is, okay, this is, meanwhile, that's what this is. I thought it was a police station for a minute. Like you'd arrested them all. Not even a little bit. Uh huh. Yeah, you're evil. So, you know. As you know. I mean, it's probably healthy ish. Results in a lot of waste of time, but you know.
Finally seeing some other squads. I always wanted to know what SG2 and SG3 were doing, you know? We don't have time for that. This show's about SG1. I'm just saying. I'm always a little curious. Might be finding out though. Dude, slow down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you're just a bully, huh? That's what I thought. You, he didn't hurt you by bumping into you. He's 20 pounds. They're a holes, clearly. They made me kick your ass. The strict one comes around. Sometimes I like the, the way they phrase things. I'm sure it's from the translation. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to kick your ass. Although, it might be a bit too much for you. Me thinks it is, actually. Look at this. You got just knocked on your ass by pure magic. So this is becoming a thing. This is becoming a thing. Okay. If that's what you want to do. Character design wise, he should look different than the other kid we just left at the other village, but he doesn't. So... You should have mixed that up a little bit. <laughs> hey, man, you gonna let him just abuse this kid? What the hell are you talking about? I don't care if I'm ticking you off or not. By the way, I like Runt a lot better than Brett. Runt is probably more accurate. Because it's about appearance. Brad is about personality. You don't know what our personality is. <laughs> <laughs> he is crazy. Sometimes you got to educate. See, Squirt. I think there was somebody saying the original translation was Brad, not Squirt. Squirt's a little cheesy. I think old boy just got murked. Yeah, <laughs> just one little rock. What's up, bitch? <laughs> Come up in our territory. <laughs> yep, that's right. He saved your ass. Hey, she likes him. Oh, shit. She does like him. I was just kidding. He's got a way about him, apparently. You let go of the kid, though, right? <laughs> he just turned that pebble into powder, man. That's pretty badass. I might be getting a little crushed myself. <laughs> Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too late. You can't negotiate. That's right. Now he's really pissed. Bring out the nine tails. Some people just can't appreciate it. I mean, I'll come down if you really, really want your ass kicked. But you have to beg me to kick your ass. I don't just do it for anybody. You got to beg me. Please, please kick my ass. <laughs> the hell is that? <laughs> I really like the <laughs> the standing upside down thing's pretty awesome. Yeah, so he must be the leader, right? <laughs> I like the overly dramatic. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty awesome, apparently. You didn't even sense him. Exactly. I like his face tattoo or forehead tattoo. His eyeliner ain't screwing around either. One of these days, I want to see a map of all these lands and stuff and what their names are.
Yeah, share with the whole class. I see. OWLs. Yeah, it's quite it's clearly the start of an arc. There is no breather episode. What, what's fascinating about that is they had a breather episode vibe. A little teehee shenanigans, Merlin shenanigan music type, you know, comedy, slapstick, you know, that kind of thing. Not to be taken too seriously. We can just enjoy hanging out and giggling and stuff. And then it turns serious. So it makes it feel like a breather episode. Because this is life, right? You walk out the door, you don't know if it's the start of an arc or if it's just a filler episode. You're like, you go and you do, do get your laundry done, pick up your dry cleaning, grab some groceries, run some other, and you'll stop at the bank or whatever. And then um, you go home. That's a filler episode day. Or you go out there and you're running somebody you ain't seen in 20 years and they've got a job for you that could get you killed. That's the start of an arc. You don't know what's happening when you walk out the door. We don't know either. Like, having first seen us, we don't have a filler list or whatever. You know, I should probably, because people tell me to skip the filler episodes. I should probably go look at that soon. But, um, we don't know if this is just going to be a breather episode going into this, or if this is going to be a start of an arc. I assume breather episode. And then again, this show's so good at the bait and switch, suddenly we're into the arc, I assume. I mean, I think it's obvious we are. Got some great character introductions, some new character interactions, and new drama, which we'll pick up on on Monday. But before that, speaking of characters, stick around for the character wheel. Okay, so here we are, the character wheel. Basically, um, my thing is, I said I don't want to repeat myself, which is what I'm doing with uh, One Piece, is the character corner. But another thing about the character corner is there's so many effing characters on One Piece. And one of the purposes of that is to keep me organized a little bit and knowing who some of the major players are and who some of the best characters have ever been. That's the purpose of character corner. And also, just, you know, it, and we're having fun with the rankings and stuff and, like, assigning numbers of people, and that's all good. You know, we like that. But here, it just, it just doesn't seem to be that many characters. We're 20 episodes in. By 20 episodes into uh, One Piece... I had probably already met over 100 characters, easily, I think. Some important, some not. I don't remember when I started doing the character corner, but like I started, I probably already had a dozen people listed that were important to remember. And it, it may have been around episode 30, 40, somewhere around there, right? So here, there's, there's really only three or four important characters so far. Two of the interesting characters are already dead. And they weren't around long enough to really be in a Hall of Fame, and, and this isn't as long of a series. So, I mean, I'm just saying, like, the, the character corner doesn't really make a lot of sense for a variety of reasons. So, how about we just focus on the most important characters? Now, I can do this for more than one character. If you would like me to see it, do something like this with other characters, let me know in the comments. Right now, I'm going to stick with Naradu only until I hear other people you want me to do. But there would only be three or four at the most, right? So, this should be pretty manageable. Basically, it's, you know, it's a wheel, as you can see. And these percentages are put in here, and I've, I've got them in as, like, you know, monetary amounts because you know, I converted this from a financial pie chart or something. But I like the idea that we can just assign money, you know. And it's all relative. Like, I'm going to keep the full amount at 1600 just because we've got six things, and that kind of works. So it should be, it's, it's, a, it's a large enough amount that it's easy to keep track of. And you can just do round numbers. You don't have to talk about five dollars and stuff like that. So, so as one of these, like, say, comedy goes up, then or down. Uh, if comedy goes up, I have to take it from somewhere else. If comedy goes down, I take it. From, uh, I'll add it somewhere else, right? So that's essentially how it works. But right now, the six categories are comedy, maturity, magical skill, cunning, self-discipline, and evil. Evil being like his potential for evil. Right now. His potential for evil, and you can see, like, the, these are also over here. Well, you can't see my mouse. But if you look to the right under the wheel, you can see what the colors are. You know, there's a, a one of these categories is assigned a color, right? So evil is, uh, what would we call that? I guess purple? How different people perceive colors is a whole other conversation we're not getting into today. But, like, yeah, the 25% is evil. That's where he's at right now. His potential to turn evil before the end of the series, I've got it 25% right now. 
25% of his entire character makeup is his potential to turn evil. If we see more signs of him doing good stuff and less signs of him tapping into his rage, that number will go down. Until then, there we are. Of course, comedy, 31%. The dude is really funny. His ability to be mature, cunning, and to have self-discipline are all at 6% because it's very minimal. There's a very small amount. Like, you know, on the, the monetary amount is $100. He's down to $100 for all three categories because we just saw. He's immature. He has no self-discipline. And he's not really exhibiting much cunning. Now, if we see something during each week, I'll update this each week. If we see improvements in his cunning, that'll go up. Magical skill right now is also 25%. And it, what's interesting about that is tapping into his rage can improve his magic. It's just raw magical skill. We're talking about like the ability to just wield magic, right? That's like 25% of his character. But it's, it, it doesn't, it's not really comparative to other people. For instance, um, Sakura, her ability to to tap into her magic is not a large part of her personality. Like, that's, that's not really... We don't see her spend a lot of time working on it. It's not what she does. Her cunning may be really large, and her ability to use magic may be really small. But that wouldn't mean, like, say, like if we're rating ma magical abilities from 1 to 10. Narada is a 10. She might be a, a 5, right? But that wouldn't mean because his magic is 25%, then she would, her, her magic would be 12%. You see what I'm saying? Like, we're not comparing... It's not like a percentage comparison versus other people. It's how much of your personality is wrapped up in your ability to wield magic. Is basically what I'm trying to say. I'm probably overthinking it, overcomplicating it. But you, just at a glance, you can see, like, right now, like, he needs to grow up. He needs to be more mature. And he, he would want to see his evil potential go down. You know, and the only thing about this is that's probably not accurate. Comedy is just me how funny I find the character it has nothing to do with his personality. So really that should be not here. I'm putting it in there just cause I want to, right? Like, so that's kind of throwing off the numbers a little bit. Probably if we were to take that out, then you'd see these numbers radically change. The percentages at least would radically change. I don't know. Let me know what you think. If this is even a good idea, if you like it or you, know, if you find it interesting, if I can always stop, like it's not a big deal, but I am definitely feedback reliant. So let me know what you think either way. But as, as of right now, this is where I'm at with him, and each week we'll update it.